right, so welcome to a new video. Um, I haven't put out a video in over a month, and uh, there's a couple reasons for it, and so I decided to film a, like a get ready with me type of thing. So first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair in these curlers. Um, I have very just straight, flat hair that I've tried curling irons of all sizes and shapes and everything like that and I just can't get my hair to stay in a curl. With these, if I use this stuff, this is Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. That's what this is. If I use this, I can kind of get it to stay in a wave. It won't stay in a curl at all. So I'm going to do that first and then come back uh, with my hair and curlers and talk. Okay, so this is what it looks like all rolled up. Um, look like a, I belong in a different era or something. So I already washed my face. So I'm gonna do some toner. I bought a little like a travel size of the, I don't know the name of it. How do you say that? Anyway, so, so I bought a little travel size of the uh, Witch Hazel toner. I've been trying it out because it's supposed to like help with some of the redness and stuff. And so I figured why not try it if it would help. So where have I been? Um, not filming. I actually have filled it, filmed a few things, um, but I just never, kept it and made a video out of it. Sean and I leave for Vegas in a week, exactly a week from today. And we've been saving for it and I have, we've been saving the whole year for it. And then in July, um, which we're still going, so we still have the money for it. This is just a side story in July around my birthday, Sean was out of town for work. So I went and stayed with my mom um, and my dad at their house and took Lucy, our dog, with me. Um, and then someone took care of our cat here. I can't take my cat there, but I could take the dog with me. And she's had a lump on one of her front legs, which would be her wrist area. If you're looking at it from human anatomy, um, it would be her wrist that the lump is on and so she's actually had it for a couple years and my mom is a vet tech and she had taken her in to have it looked at and they thought that it was just a lipoma which is like a benign fatty tumor that animals get a lot actually um i'll put like a screenshot of the definition So they thought it was a lipoma, which is no big deal. The only thing they were concerned about is if it got too big or if it started to mess with the inside of her wrist, which it did start to do. So it actually, in the last three months, it started to gradually grow. And then at the beginning of July, it was significantly, significantly bigger than it was like in the beginning of June. So while I was there, my mom took her into the clinic that she works at for an appointment and they decided that because it grew so fast that they wanted to do a, uh, like a biopsy and have it sent into an actual lab and have it tested to see what it is. And unfortunately, it, the next day when my mom went to work, they had the results and it came back as cancer and they were worried about it being um, a special type, but not special type, but a certain kind of nerve tumor that dogs can get. I think actually humans can get it too, um, but it's, it's common when there's a tumor like that on a dog leg, that it can be this nerve tumor, which is really hard to remove. And um, almost no matter what, because especially since she's a small breed, they would have had to amputate her leg. 
but thankfully it's not that it's a different type of um, malignant tumor I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is um, I might put it up on screen if I'm able to find out from my mom but I don't know right now so so our surgery is the day we come back from Vegas and it was actually the only appointment available because of restrictions um, the way the clinic has to operate they're actually very very booked with appointments um, so I'll put little pictures of what I'm using on screen so also when me and Lucy came back from my mom's and Sean came home, our cat decided it was his turn to be sick. And so, you know, we made an appointment for him. Uh, my mom took him to his work, her work. And then they did all his testing and nothing was wrong with him. Which has actually happened several times before. He'll get in a mood, he'll get upset, so he'll won't eat and he'll throw up everywhere all the time but nothing's wrong. No intestinal issues, no, uh, not actually sick, nothing like that. So yeah, but that was, you know, another expense. And then, this is all happening in July, by the way. So then, um, a couple days after our cat goes back to work, you know, he's fine, he's eating after, I mean, we sent him to the vet and all of a sudden he's like, oh, I'm fine. There was nothing wrong. Um, our stove goes out, like completely. All four burners stop working. The oven still works, but all four burners are not working. So then we have to, so then we have to purchase a new stove. So all in July, we had almost $2,000 worth of expenses that we're stressing me out. I mean, in reality, we could have canceled our vacation, but Sean didn't want to do that. He wanted to try and work it out a different way. So that all happened in July. Yeah. And then nothing happened in August. I just didn't feel like, so I wanted to do a separate video showing what I'm taking to Vegas. Uh, but I wanted to show this. So I wanted to do a So I bought this, I said I was going to do a separate Vegas video, but this is part of it. So I got this thing. I love it. It just, all those brushes there and then this little pocket, I have my bigger brushes in. Oh, so I got a new Fitbit. Um, can't see that. Um, so my old Fitbit, I had the original Fitbit, like the very first Fitbit that came out. Um, and since then, there's been Fitbit 2, 3, and since, along with the other small ones that they've come out with new ones. And a couple months ago, my Fitbit died because the battery wasn't lasting very long anymore. So I put it on its charger and it just never turned it back on. So that was that. All right, so I'm mostly ready, um, probably another half hour or so. Uh, I will take these out and I'll show what my hair looks like after. I wish it would be curly like it's supposed to be, but it doesn't. Maybe if I do this a whole bunch, like week after week, it might train my hair. I don't know if that's a thing, but so I'm ready for the day. Okay. All right, so these have been in my hair for about an hour. Um, they feel like the mousse stuff has dried. It feels like the mousse stuff has dried. So I also sprayed it with a flex hairspray that I have. So we're gonna take them out, see what this looks like.
have to say, the first time I did this, I did it with just my wet hair and I let it dry. Um, and then, so it didn't work very well. This actually, so I'm my fingers through it a little bit. I don't think I want to brush it. So that would probably just make it super frizzy. Um, let's see. I think that the back part isn't as curly. I'll turn around. Yeah, the back isn't as curly as the front. I think it's because it's what I did last, but it's pretty um, curly. I know that with my hair, because my hair does not like to be curly, it'll probably end up looking a little more wavy than it sits as I play with it instead of like Shirley Temple curls. So let's actually, I'm gonna actually do this. So it makes it very poofy. I mean, I guess initially you could call it a success this time, right? I mean, literally last time I did it, I took my hair out of it and I didn't even have any of this. It was still super straight. So, what's that? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna open this real quick and it's got delivered. It is my bad fit fun box. So let's get this guy open. So I got a box, it's actually a small box, but it came in this giant box because there's some other stuff outside of it. So a couple of things extra, I guess. All right, so this is the actual box. It's so cute. It is the fall fat fit fun box. I'm doing this in this video. I'll put the link. Um, everybody that gets fat fit fun has like a share link that you can get um, I believe it's credit towards stuff in the shop or something. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at all the fall. Okay. I love fall, you guys. It's my favorite season besides winter. I love decorating for fall and Christmas. All right, so as always, you get a little uh, magazine that tells you about all the stuff in the box. And then... It always comes with, um, you know, advertisements, basically credit for a wine shop, uh, hello, fresh meals. And this one's nourish and it looks like it's like custom vitamins or something. Okay. So this is got a little, it's own package around it. So let's see what this is. Um, how much the side? Because then I could put here what it, it actually, you know, information about what I'm opening. Now you can. 21 plus. 0% alcohol. Oh, <laughs> it's a Heineken sample. A 0% alcohol Heineken sample. That's kind of weird. I've gotten samples of other things in the fabric, but I've never gotten a zero alcohol Heineken though. That's kind of weird. So that's not part of the box. All right, so first thing is actually part of the box. This is something I picked because we do go on road trips um, and it'd actually be great to take like to Vegas or other vacations. It is this collapsible cup with four reusable straws. Take it out. So it's got four color coordinated, like rubber straws to match the cup. And then, so let's see. Okay, so here's this. I actually saw a couple, because uh, influencers get their box way before we do. So pop the cup out. This little thing. Saw so Jessica Brown, you put it on to have like a stable holding spot. 
and then a little cup and straw. So it's a little like collapsible travel cup. Then what do we got? We have makeup drop sponge. Um, so it feels a little silicone-y. Like it feels a lot tougher than like a beauty blender or the ColourPop sponge that I have. And it also has this, um, it's kind of like a harder spot, like a silicone spot on it. So I'm guessing it's, it's supposed to be like a combination of those silicone ones that are, um, I've never tried one, but they're supposed to be good for makeup. So a little sponge. And then this is a sample too. This is a Dove spray deodorant. This is a sample in the box. It's kind of weird. I've never seen two samples come in a box like that, but this would be good for travel too. I mean, I could take that with me to Vegas. All right, next. Perlisi. Perlis <laughs> um, this is a pumpkin ginger detoxifying charcoal mask. So I try not to try too many new things on my skin because my skin is sensitive, but I figured I would give this a go. It's got a little seal on it, which is always good. Oh yeah. It definitely smells like um, if you're gonna put pumpkin bread batter on your face, that's kind of what it smells like. All right, next. Uh, Moroccan spice candle. So one of the things I like about Fabulous Fun is they have a whole bunch of variety of things to pick from. I kind of wish they had a little more actual beauty products, like maybe makeup every once in a while. But they don't really have that much. How are you doing, Punky? What are you doing? You just sitting? Yeah? Alright, so let's get this open. So, yeah, this smells pretty good. It definitely is not as like spicy as I would have thought it would have been with the title being Moroccan Spice. It is definitely fall scent, which is really good. It has a little bit of a soapy smell to me, but that could just be my senses. All right, next. Mad skincare. Okay. Mad skincare. Why Glec Age Defying Cleanser. You guys, some of the words they use in skincare. So it's just a anti-aging cleanser. Little metal tab. Um, it doesn't really smell like anything. Definitely just clean. Nice clean smell, I guess. Alright, next. One of the things I did pick was this. Amika Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I really do have trouble with my hair. It's, it's my hair, I have a lot of hair, kind of, but it's thin and flat. Well, right now it's not because it's curlers, but um, I have trouble keeping it hydrated and not looking straw-like, kind of. So I thought maybe I'd give these a try to see how that would go. So I did pick those. All right, so another thing I picked was this. Uh, Golden Superfood Antioxidant Shower Gel, Pumpkin, Argan, Apricot, Orange, and Aloe Vera. Mm. I thought I'd give it a try. <clears throat> like I said, I, have, I do have sensitive skin, so some, some things that I try just are, end up being a no-go. Smells okay. I mean, it's kind of really plain, but it's a cute little bottle. <clears throat> right, and the next thing I got was this um, food after dinner, food and drink trivia. I thought it was cute. I do have family dinners and we have game nights and stuff like that. And I thought maybe it could be just a cute little addition to the... the 
family dinners and the game nights that we already do, or like if me and Sean are bored, we can sit around and do it. So let's see, just a small stack of cards in here. So instructions for play, test your knowledge. Let's pick one of these. What is the official nut of Alabama? So I didn't know states had official nuts, but Alabama's is the pecan or pecan, however you say it. So now the last product I got in my FabFitFun is an enamel Dutch oven. I'm very much a food and cooking person. I love, I love to cook and such. So this is just a small enameled pot. This would be good to make small soups just for like me and Sean and or I mean, I guess you get like four, maybe five servings of something in here. Or if you're making like a small roast, you could, you know, put it in here and cook it in here. So it's a enamel pot. It's really pretty. I like it. And it comes with um, care instructions because you do need to care for enameled cookware differently than regular cookware. You're, you're not supposed to use like scratchy stuff on them and stuff like that. All right, so that was my FabFitFun box. I'll have a link down below of my like share link, which does give me a benefit. If you don't wanna use it, don't use it. Um, if you wanna get FabFitFun, go to FabFitFun.com. It's pretty great. So I guess that's my get ready catch up video. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If you want, you don't have to. It's free to do it. Um, and see my next video, which will probably be a what am I taking to Vegas type of video. And yeah.